Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Lisa here from Morgan Tarot. I'm here to do a reading for Taurus for the middle of November 2021. I am running behind this month, so I do apologize for that, guys. Um, running behind in all of my um, reads this month, but I am going to be catching up in the next couple of days, and then I will ensure that my reads are up to date for the month of uh, December, for the end of the year reads, right? Lots of reads coming up, guys. Um, please remember, it is a general reading. It's not going to resonate for every single Taurus out there. Please remember to check your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I particularly look at my Venus sign for love messages because that is what most resonates for me, as well as my Moon and a little bit of my Rising sign. Um, but my overall personality, I guess, tends to fall with my Sun sign, as it will with most of you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull, um, I'm trying to cut my readings down as well. They, I, if I, I feel like if I can keep them shorter, I can get more reads out in a more timely manner. Today, Taurus, please remember, general reading, like I said, please don't forget to like this video. That will help me more than anything. Just, you know, just simply just giving me a like helps this video to reach more people. So I do really appreciate you doing that. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Hitting the notification bell so that you get updated when I upload new videos. And um, yeah, sharing it with anyone that it might help. The first thing I'm going to do, uh, Taurus, is I'm going to pull your energy, I'm going to pull their energy, then I'm going to pull mutual energies, and then I'm going to, um, you know, see what are their future intentions towards you, your person in mind, get some final advice at the end, and get oracle messages at the end also. Energy and love, Taurus. Okay, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, first of all. We're going to grab three cards to start with. Okay, we've got the Ace of Cups. For Taurus, for the month of November, middle of November. What does Taurus need to know? Thank you. Okay, we've got the Nine of Wands. We've got the Four of Swords. Let's get two more for your energy, your current energy. Thank you. Wow, the Four of Pentacles. And one more energy for Taurus. Thank you. The sun wanted to flip there, but it didn't quite flip. Let's get one more energy for Taurus. Hmm. This is very similar to the energy that I pulled when I was doing the pre-shuffle, guys. All right, so this looks like your energy, Taurus, for the month of November, middle of November. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. We've got the Ace of Cups. We've got the Nine of Wands. We've got the Four of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. So we've got two Eights and two Fours here, and an Ace and a Nine. I see you, Taurus, is really trying to put some hard work and energy into this connection. I feel like you, you, you've you given a lot here, is what I feel. I feel like you've almost given more than you probably normally would have, or that you feel you should give here. Someone who's working really hard over time, doing the hard work, chiseling away, um, at something that they kind of feel almost is like not getting them anywhere is what I feel. Someone who's just like trying to build this house almost single-handedly and on their own. You know, brick by brick, you know, frame by frame. Um, I feel like they're just tr struggling to get, you know, any kind of um, teamwork, any kind of support here. Um, what I'm seeing here for you, Taurus, is you putting in a lot of work here and someone else not giving you anything, is what I see that with that particular energy. With the Ace of Cups coming next, I feel as though this is almost like, um, you know, you giving a lot of love into this connection, you giving your all, you giving your love, you giving your heart, you giving your, you know, 100% of everything here and not really receiving um, anything in return. The Nine of Wands here, I feel like this is a, you know, as we know, this is a very defensive guarded energy, someone who's standing their ground, someone who's, you know... Someone who really is, you know, protecting themselves, you know, and, and they, they don't really accept any old thing that comes in here. You know, this this can be a very mental energy. Um, you know, I know the swords are a very mental energy, but the nine of wands for me, you know, very much resonates as a mental energy also. This is someone who really wants to protect their own energy, who's standing their ground. I also see this as, you know, kind of a... A, a winning card someone who's really you know they've been through a lot and they're ready they're now not ready they're not willing to tolerate any crap here you know and I feel like this could be you here I feel like you've been through so much with this person you've put in so much work here you've given so much love that you're now prepa not prepared to tolerate any more crap from this person and I feel like you kind of standing your ground here you're guarding yourself it's a mental health energy as well you could be protecting your mental health 
um, and just kind of, you know, um, suspending your ability to give any more and saying, you know what, I've given so much here, I've given so much work, I've given so much love, I've put so much energy into this that I'm now just, you know, um, putting a pause to all of that and I'm focusing on myself, you know, I'm focusing on my own energy here. So I see someone who is very protected and very guarded here. And then not surprisingly, the next energies I have are two fours here and an eight. You know, this is a very, very much a walking away energy. This is exactly the energy I got when I did my pre-shuffle. With the four of swords here, I see someone who is taking a time out, someone who's pausing from the connection, someone who's resting, someone who's taking a breather, someone who's just focusing on self-care and just you know, having a rest, having a break, you know, the four of swords is very much someone who's had enough, someone who needs a break, someone who's taking a time out in love here, someone who's just focusing on healing, rejuvenating, um, you know, they've hung their swords up on the wall here, you know, they've got two, three swords on the wall, one beneath them, and they're, you know, battle has been tough, you know, battle has been really tough, and they're now needing to take this time out to focus on healing after this tough, tough battle. And I feel like this has been a battle for you. This nine of wands shows that you have been in a very tough battle with this person. You have given everything that you possibly can give here. You know, um, you know, in terms of effort, in terms of love, you've given everything that you possibly can. Um, and this person has caused you to really put your guards up here and defend yourself and, and really go into a mental health energy here. You've had to protect, you're now protecting your own mental health and protecting your energy. And I see you doing that again here with this Four of Swords energy. You're, you're literally going, I'm stepping back here. You might even be single. You might even have said, I need to step out of this connection. I need to protect myself now. And you're really focusing on yourself and you're taking a time out from this connection with that Four of Swords energy. That for me is a pause in this connection. Of course, we have the Four of Pentacles another four this shows me again you know and it, it's just beneath the ace of cups this shows me that someone has given their all here has given all that they can give all the love that they can give all the energy that they can give put everything they have into this and it's now put them in this very guarded um, and healing defensive energy someone just cannot take any more in this connection this feels like you Taurus take it as it resonates it could be your person but I feel more like it's you so with this four of pentacles, I feel like you're really holding on to your sense of self here. You're really holding on to everything that you, you know, um, this is a sense of self-care here. You know, sometimes we say this can be holding on to a connection, holding on to finances and so on. But I see this with the, with the cards that have come out around it. I feel like this is you protecting your own energy here and being really guarded and defensive here, protecting yourself. This is someone who's holding on to what you do have, yes. Um, but I feel like it's more of an energy of holding on to, you know, your own mental well-being, your own so sense of self, your own your own self-care routine. You know, focusing on a self-care routine for yourself, focusing on your own well-being, focusing on, on taking time out from this connection so you can really focus on you, yourself. Because I don't feel like this connection has been conducive to you um, and your own well-being. And, and, you know, of course, we have the Eight of Cups. This is your energy, guys. This is this is definitely your your energy is that you've given your all here. You've given your all, and now you're taking time for yourself. You're taking time here to rest. This is someone that's now ready to walk away. This is someone that's given as much as they possibly can. You know, they've put the hard work in. They've given the love, all the love and care that they can, all the loyalty, all of the everything. I, guys, I I felt a sense of just giving, 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 giving. And then you had to just put your walls up here. You had to protect yourself. You had to guard yourself. You couldn't give any more. This person wasn't giving you anything in return. So you had to go. You had to take a time out. You had to leave this connection. You had to go away. You had to say, I'm gone. I, I need a rest. I need a break. I'm taking time out. I need. I need to, you know, focus on myself. I need to heal. I'm hurting. This is so hurtful that I'm not getting, you know, the same energy that I'm giving you. And then, of course, you you went into protection mode here with this Four of Pentacles. You're protecting everything that you have. Everything doesn't matter what it is. You're protecting your own energy. You're protecting your heart here. This is someone who's just guarding themselves and just, you know, protected. It's like they've got a bubble around them, you know, that they're just guarding themselves. They're not, then, you know, look at this. There's someone that's not prepared to take any more heartache, heartbreak. Someone who's not prepared to give them what they give them. Someone who's not prepared to, you know, put any more out unless they get it back, right? And this Eight of Cups shows me you walking away here, Taurus. You've had enough. You've looked at the Eight Cups. You've almost had ten. You're two to go. And you just kind of looked in that Eighth Cup and went, there's nothing in here. I feel empty. I'm not getting anything. I'm giving all of this energy. I'm giving Eight Cups. I'm getting nothing in return. They're not giving me the, the other two cups. They're not willing to meet me halfway. They're not even willing to give me, you know, a sniff of it. So I'm, I'm giving up. I've had enough. And that's what I see as your energy here, Taurus. All right, now I'm going to get their energy. What is their energy? Thank you, Spirit. 
What is their person's energy? Let's move these cards over. What is Taurus's person's energy? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, can I have Taurus's person's energy? Thank you. The person in your energy right now, Taurus, what is their energy towards you in this connection? Just saw the fool and the devil. Let's see what comes out. Hmm. Okay. Interesting energy so far. So, so far we've got the Six of Cups. We've got the Six of Cups, the Death, the Sun, the Page of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and we want one more card, please. What is your person's energy towards you, Taurus? What is your person's energy towards you, Taurus? Thank you. I'm going to take the Fool because I've seen it many times and it's turned over. All right, so and we've got the Tower at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Okay, so for your person's energy, Taurus, I'm seeing someone who sees you as their past life soulmate. You know, this is a past life soulmate connection. This is someone who is reminiscing about the past, someone who's very nostalgic, who who, who looks in, who looks at you as someone that um, is their true love. You know, someone that they, they see as their forever, someone that they want to be with, but they may not be communicating this to you. This is just their energy, right? We're looking at their energy. Um, the death card here shows me that there has been an ending here. And I do see that here in your energy. So we have an eight of cups on, we, on your side and we have a death on their side. So, you know, there's been an, en an ending here. There's no doubt about that. Your side is very clear on that. I feel like you've given everything that you can and you, you're not prepared to give any more. So this person, you know, sees you as their soulmate. They see you as someone they love very much, but they may not be communicating that to you. I'm seeing the death card. Like I said, I feel like there's been an ending here because they haven't given enough to you. Now... Because I'm I'm seeing a lot of I'm seeing some energy here of someone who really does love you because this card here is very much you know this for me is um one of my real indicators of a, a true a true twin flame soulmate connection. This I do see the sun here, right? So I see someone who loves you very very much here, Taurus. This is someone that does view you as someone that you know is a twin flame a soulmate connection. It could be someone that you have a past life connection to, right? Now, you know, and remember when we have those kinds of connections with our with our person, they are very deep, they are very hurtful, they can teach us very valuable lessons and, you know, we they tend to hurt deeper than any other connection because they are meant to. They're meant to do that to teach us valuable lessons, our twin flames, our soulmates. Um, that's how we know they're a twin flame, right, or a soulmate because they teach us, they hurt us so much that we know that it can't be just you know, in everyday love. Now, with the death card coming out here, I, you know, as I said, speaks of an ending here. There's definitely an ending. We saw that already on your side of things. This person is really uh, feeling this ending. This person is, is upset about this ending, but I feel as though they caused this ending. Now, this because this is in the heart of their read, right? It's a second card coming out in their spread. Despite the fact that they see you as their past life soulmate, you know, they're reflecting and being nostalgic because they caused an ending here. You know, they caused this ending. This death here is because of their own energy, right? The death is also about rebirth. So I do feel as though this person does want to rebirth with you because obviously when one door closes, multiple doors open and also an ending can, you know, can speak to creating a new beginning in this energy. And because, of course, the next card I have is the Sun card. That's the other reason I think that, you know, I feel it's a rebirth energy. Now, of course, I read the cards based on what is coming out around them. So when I see a Six of Cups, when I see a Six of Cups and the Death card, the Rebirth card, I see someone who wants to create uh, the Sun here. Someone who, who views you as their happiness. You know, you are their absolute happiness. You are their, their this is the happiest card in the deck, guys. You know, this is someone that views you as their, their happy ever after, their... Their twin flame, their soulmate, and they're very much reminiscing about you right now. They're very much looking at photos, being nostalgic, thinking about all the great fond memories that you shared together. Despite the ending, they're very much focused on a rebirth, is what I see here. Um, and they they absolutely see the sun. You know, the sun is you. You know, you represent the sun to them, Taurus. It's beautiful energy, but at the same time, you know, they've done something here that's you know very much caused you to feel that you need to do this, you know, that you need to protect yourself, that you need to be guarded and defensive. You know, you've put in a lot of work here, you've given a lot of love is what I see, and you haven't got a lot in return, so you've had to guard your energy and then and then walk away. 
that only happens when we're not getting enough and it really shouldn't take you know an ending for someone to realize that they should realize that you know well before that happens the next energy you have is the page of swords on their side so this is someone i feel that is you know probably trying to really have a good look at what's happened between the two of you have a good uh i feel like they're being you know your person's being very analytical in their energy this page of swords is someone you know, that's very much air energy um mental energy someone who's really trying to be analytical about what's happened between the two of you there's been an ending there's no doubt about that they see you as their wish fulfillment they see you as their happiness they see you as their um you know their past life soulmate right with the six of cups here um and you know they're really trying to do their homework now you know they could have done this before but they're now doing it they're now thinking you know they're now realizing what they've lost in this nostalgic energy and they're now trying to do their homework and figure out you know how can they make this better how can they fix this how can they come back around how can they make you see them in a different light because i do see a lot of negative energy here on your side i don't see you forgiving them you know really quickly here i see someone here who's very defensive and guarded and really holding on to their own sense of self their sense of self-worth their sense of self-belief their sense of um self-care so i don't see you just walking right back into this in a hurry so i feel like they're trying to figure out how do i do this how do i fix this what do i need to do how do i you know how do i recreate this energy here how do i have this rebirth with someone who i see as my son someone who i see as my soul you know my past life soulmate my twin flame here so i do see them wanting to put in the work here with this page of swords energy and they could obviously be keeping an eye on you of course this is also the you know the keeping an eye on you so um the spying kind of energy but i see it more as someone who's trying to fix things trying to figure out how they're going to fix it trying to gather information and being very analytical here with how they're going to go about that seven of cups here um you know this is someone i feel who has you know been foolish here someone who has had options in the past someone who has um you know seen you perhaps as an option here you know despite all this love that you were giving them with this ace of cups you were giving them so much love offering them all that you had um and i feel like it was also divinely given to them it was it's a beautiful energy here and we know that because we have the six of cups here which shows us it was a which shows us it was a you know soulmate connection here um this person took advantage of that and i feel like because they had other options here they they weren't really um looking at you as you know their number one option they, they could have gone towards other options and when i say options it could be, mean anything here we're talking about work family friends you know anything that could have taken them away from the connection like any third party doesn't mean it has to be a, another person it could also speak to illusions you know this person could have had some kind of illusion about what their happiness was they could have seen that you know um money was their happiness you know that whatever um drugs alcohol brought them happiness and they could have got carried away with that they could have been in a whole nother world of of people that they were associating with of 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 toxic behaviors that they were getting involved in of a third party energy multiple third party energies i just see someone here that had choices here had options here and and didn't choose the right one you know didn't think carefully about what their choices were and what the consequences were going to be of choosing that option so someone who had choices here um and you know and and went again against this connection in some way which obviously you know the death card is overriding it so you know they made choices here that caused an ending in this connection there's no doubt about that um, but they're now trying to figure out how they can you know how they can make that right here with the six of cups and the um page of swords energy they're really focusing on um on the past here um they're really missing the past they're missing the past terribly is what i'm seeing and someone that's really focusing analytically on how they can fix the past how they can recreate the past here sorry with this death energy this rebirth energy <sighs> okay and then um on this side finally we have the full card so the full here shows me you know someone who was foolish literally but also um would like a new beginning here because the fall is the zero in the deck this is after the tower it's after the start it's after you've healed it's after you've been through the you know the turmoil of the tower and guess what we have at the bottom of the deck the tower so you know this person has created a tower in this connection this person has caused a very toxic traumatic ending here a very sudden ending is what i see here someone someone that caused a very abrupt ending in this connection this caused a very shocking hurt to you i, I see a lot of hurt on your side i see an awful lot of hurt on your side when I see the nine of wands, a very hurtful um, 
mental health energy, someone who's had to go really deep within it and possibly seek psychological counselling and help and, and, and that sort of thing. And then I see the Four of Swords, the Four of uh, Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. I see someone who has had to walk away after giving a great deal here with the um, Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Someone who's given a lot and gotten nothing in return and had to walk away. So I see someone who's very shockingly and unexpectedly, you know, received a raw end of the deal here, which is what's happened for you, Taurus. And, you know, this person has taken a leap of faith elsewhere. They've, they've uh, not really thought about their actions here. They've just uh, gone towards a new a new beginning that they didn't really give a lot of thought to, that they just thought was going to be, it's almost like the grass was greener kind of story, right? This person thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side. They took a leap of faith without really looking into what was going to happen without really thinking about the consequences and they you know they hurt you a great deal here and they've gone towards a whole new energy here because the um you know seven of cups and the fool shows me that someone made a really foolish decision here they might have been fooled by just by the illusions of something something might have given them an illusion that was going to be much better than what it was it doesn't have to be a person it could have been a job it could have been friends it could have been family it could have been a toxic situation habits could have been anything like that something that just gave them an illusion that they thought was going to be give them a whole new opportunity and a whole new life that didn't quite turn out that way and in, in essence they lost the very best thing that happened to them something that they viewed as their son you know this past life soulmate connection this son caused an ending by very toxic behaviors here but they are very much now trying to figure out how to fix this how to get this back on track here you know with this page of swords energy doing their homework now researching thinking very deeply this very mental energy about how they're going to repair this situation all right let's find out what are your mutual energies here taurus for the month middle of november what are the mutual energies between taurus and their person please don't forget if you haven't already to like this video um it really does help my video to get seen by more people. Share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you haven't already, guys. I... Okay, I've got the Ten of Pentacles. This is mutual energy. All right, what are the mutual energies here? So I've got the Ten of Pentacles. So guys, with the Ten of Pentacles, I see that you guys kind of... With this mutual energy, this Ten of Pentacles... With the mutual energy of the Ten of Pentacles, I feel as though you guys see each other as, I, I really do feel as though you see each other as, you know, as the end goal here, the end game. Like, I see a long-term stable commitment here, building foundations, solid foundations, long-term commitments. I see family, I see friends, I see, uh, you know, the white picket fence, the, the nice house, the, you know, the long-term stable commitment, the nice car, the pets, the dogs, the cats. Maybe, I feel like you guys want that. I feel like you guys both want that. It's in the mutual en energies. I feel like you both really want that, Taurus. You know, you're both seeking the same thing here. It may just be that, you know, your person has a bit of work to do here in order to repair this because they've caused you a whole lot of hurt here, Taurus, is what I'm seeing. But I do see that they see you as their wish fulfillment. They see you as their happiness. They see you as their past life soulmate. I've showed you the cards here, guys. You know, Six of Cups... The death, which is all about an ending and about wanting rebirth. The sun, the happiest card in the deck. That's how they view you, right? And, you know, they're trying to do their homework here to figure out how they can fix this here. Because, you know, they were foolish here and made a decision that went against this connection. But the mutual energy is they really want this to work. This ten of pentacles. This is one of the happy, again, one of the happiest cards in the deck along with the sun. So, you know, I'm, I'm seeing some uh, beautiful energies here so far. What else do we need from the mutual energies? Thanks, Spirit. Okay, I've got the Wheel of Fortune. Of course, that, that of course, means that, you know, you guys are both hoping for the will to turn in your favour. You're both hoping for, you know, the karmic will to turn in your favour. You know, the Wheel of Fortune is all about, you know, uh, good things happen, the will turns in your favour. The karmic will is always turning, right? And I feel like you guys both want this karmic will to turn in your favour. You want this connection to, to become, you know, you want it to come to fruition here. Look at this, guys. Ten of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. This is... This is an abundant new opportunity, a new beginning in this, in this connection. That's what I'm seeing for you guys so far. But this is a very much a mutual energy here because this Wheel of Fortune is a karmic wheel. It's karmic justice, right? What else for this uh, mutual energy, please, for Taurus and their person? What else do we need to know for Taurus and their person? Let's get one more card. One more card for Taurus and their person for, for the middle of November. 
Wow, okay, I've got the Six of Pentacles, which is all about equality. It's about balance. It's about give and take, equal give and take. I feel like in the past, there was very much an injustice here, and I've spoken about that already. You know, your person, Taurus, was not really... You know, your person, Taurus, clearly wasn't giving you what you were giving them. I see this, you know, Eight of Pentacles energy. I see this Ace of Cups. And I feel like, you know, you've had to put your walls up here and protect yourself and really go within here and focus on your own, you know, well-being here and sense of self with these two energies that we spoke about. You know, you've had to do that to protect your own energy. You've had to walk away because this wasn't serving you anymore. You had to do something to protect yourself and protect your own energy. When something isn't serving you, that's what we have to do. But, you know, it looks as though now this person really wants to have their, you know, their, their happily ever after with you. This, you know, your person, Taurus, wants to really have this new beginning with you. They want the karmic world to turn in their favor. They want a ten of pentacles, a long-term stable commitment here with you. And they want there to be balance and equality and equal give and take here because there wasn't in the past. And I feel like they know that. You can see their energy here is that they want to have a rebirth here with you. They see you as their past life soulmate. They see you as their happily ever after. You know, the sun is the happiest card in the deck, as we spoke about. They had some illusions. They had they made some mistakes here in their choices and their decision making. And they're now trying to figure out how they can have this new beginning with you by figuring out what it is they need to do to repair the harm that's been caused by their by this, you know, this this awful ending because remember we had the tower at the bottom of the deck which showed me that it was very shocking and unexpected this ending between you guys it was very hurtful but it does now now look as though this person wants karma to do its thing they want the karmic world to turn in their favor and they want to have this you know brand new beginning with you here with the fall here with the wheel of fortune with the ten of pentacles and the six of pentacles they want things to be fair and equally balanced here and just with the karmic wheel and the six of pentacles very clear message so far guys let's get um all right what do we need to know about uh, their future intentions here wow i've got the strength card here so it shows me that you know your person taurus really is um trying to build up the courage here to to recreate this new beginning with you you know they may be really relying on a lot of pride and courage here to come back around i feel like it's going to take that i take a lot from them because you know they have really caused a, a it's been a difficult ending is what i see here and they're now relying on a lot of strength and courage to come back around here because it is going to take a lot of work to rebuild this it's not going to be something that's going to happen overnight they're going to have to put in the work here. They're going to have to give you equally here, you know, because in the past they may have breadcrumbed you. They may have been unfair. The Taurus is person's intentions towards them. Then we'll get some final advice and an oracle card to finish off. What are Taurus is person's intentions here? And we'll, then we'll finish off with some final advice. Okay, we've got the Hierophant here. Okay, so I feel as though this is a good sign, Taurus, because I feel like, you know, if this is coming out for your person's intentions, you know, this is all about you know, lessons learned, this is a teacher-student relationship, this is, you know, learning lessons, it's about, um, it can be, you know, about a higher level of um, spirituality or religion, you know, learning from that, um, it can be um, higher levels of commitment, marriage, you know, traditional, following the traditional marriage pathway, for, for me, I feel like this message is here to show you that, you know, this person has really learned some valuable lessons from this ending. And I feel like they, they are learning these lessons. And as a result, they, they're ready to, you know, have high levels of commitment with you. They want to have a high level of commitment with you. They've learned valuable lessons. And I also feel like I'm hearing that they've spiritually evolved more. You know, they're more spiritually awakened now, I feel. And they're ready to... Um, you know, to use that to the benefit of this connection. I feel like they see you as very spiritually awakened and they want to be like you. They they want to be they want to be like you. They see you as someone who's very um intelligent, but also someone who's very spiritually awakened and they want to match that energy with you. So um here, you know, I feel like maybe that's why the strength card is here. They're, they're building a whole new uh, persona. They're building a whole new life. They're building a whole new way of being and they're seeing things in a whole different way here. So your person here, Taurus, is actually wanting to have, they've learned some very valuable lessons and they're ready to have a higher level of commitment here with you, whatever that may be. It could just be that they're more committal on this connection and not, you know, not going to run away. And they're focusing on building up their strength and courage here to come back around and have that with you. All right, what else do we need to know? What are the intentions? What are Taurus's person's intentions? Thank you, Spirit. The star. Yeah, okay, this shows me that, you know, your person, Taurus, has really focused on healing during your separation. This person is, um, you know, we know that they want to come back around here. They know We know that they want to rebirth. We know, you know, about the sun, the six of cups, and so on. I'm not going to rehash the same energies, but we do know that this person's mutual energy 
is the Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Six of Pentacles. This is someone that wants to have a, you know, a balanced connection with you. They want the karmic world to turn in their favor. They want a long-term stable connection with you. And what we see here is someone who's healing or has healed. You know, I feel like they've healed already. The star energy is very much someone who's focusing on, um, you know, this comes after the tower and the devil energy is healing. This person is... Um, you know, this person is focusing on the future. This person is uh, you're wanting a brighter new future here. It's also about wishing, right? Because stars, we always we wish upon a star for the bright future that we want. So I feel like things have come to light here. You've understood what's happened in this connection. They've understood what's happened in this connection. You really have a good understanding of what you need to do here to, to recreate a new beginning. And I feel like this whole, you know, this whole new beginning is, is in your hands here. That's what I'm seeing here. You know, have a look here. We've got this person who's who's all, you know, they're balancing things out here. It's all about balance. It's all about karmic balance. It's all about new beginnings. It's about the universe granting new beginnings and having, you know, that new beginning here, that happiness, that balance. And that after that healing, you know, you both have a sense of healing here and a sense of balance and justice. Oh, guys, it looks as though with these three cards, I'm going to stop. Look, with these three cards, I can see what your person's intentions are. You know, your person has learned some very valuable lessons here with the Star, the Hierophant, and the Strength card. Three major arcana, guys. I can't speak more than that. This person has learned some very valuable lessons. They are spiritually awakened. They are ready for high levels of commitment. They're, they're very courageous. They're very strong. They've really had to focus on going within here and building their inner strength and knowledge here. Their, their spirituality, their intuition... Um, their their healing has really gone to a whole next level here three major arcana here for their intentions towards you i'm seeing some very positive energy here um taurus in the middle of november i'm seeing you know with your mutual energies here i'm seeing someone who wants a long-term stable commitment here with the ten of pentacles i'm seeing the karmic justice wheel in the middle you know in the heart of the spread here i'm seeing the six of pentacles showing me that there is going to be equal give and take in this connection these are mutual energies here this is something that you both wish for you know, although I see on your side things have been very challenging, I see on their side someone who's very regretful and remorseful about what they've done, someone who's really trying to do the work here to figure out how they can come back around to you because they see you as their soulmate, they see you as their past life soulmate, they want a new beginning with you. You are their son, you know, you literally are their son energy here. Um, and they want to have a whole new beginning here with you with this full energy. Hey right, guys, my lighting's just gone out. I'll try and keep this as short now so that you can see me. All right, so we know what their future intentions are. We see that they have learned valuable lessons, they've healed, and they, they're want, going to use every strength and courage that they have to come back towards you here in this karmic cycle. My after tarot here, and then we'll get a final card from the Wisdom of the Oracle to finish off for uh, Taurus. All right, what uh, advice does Spirit have for Taurus here? It does look as though your person wants to come back around here and have a new beginning with you. Um... Taurus, so let, what's the final advice for Taurus here for the month of middle of November? Okay, wow, guys, we have got the Ten of Cups. Can you see this? I'm going to bring it up nice and close because I, my lighting's gone out. Ten of Cups here, guys, that's the advice that I have for you. So it does look as though with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups out here on the spread, we have mutual, uh, mutual energies here, Ten of Pentacles. We have advice, Ten of Cups. What can I say, guys? This looks like the happily ever after that you could possibly want here. Because remember, we do have um, their intentions here being to learn some very valuable lessons, to, to do the healing that they need to do, to wish upon a star, to have the strength and courage to recreate a new beginning here with you guys, which is what we saw on their side. I'm seeing a beautiful ending if this is what you want. Of course, it's always up to free will, Taurus. So um, this is completely up to you guys what you want. Everything is up to free will. It's not, uh, nothing is fate. I mean, we faithfully meet people, but at the end of the day, Everything is down to free will, what happens from there, the decisions that we make and the pathways that we take. All right, and we have got... All right, what else do we have? Let's get one more card, please, of advice from the tarot before we get an oracle message. Oh, we've got two. Wow, we've got the judgment and the tower here. So it looks very much, guys, like there's going to be a judgment call made. It looks like it's an unexpected judgment call. Maybe you were not expecting to forgive this person. And maybe, you know, maybe they weren't expecting for this new beginning to happen. I'm not sure what this means, but you can take this as it uh, resonates. 
it looks as if there's going to be something unexpected here in this ending here. Spirit is giving you advice here that something is going to be unexpected. Perhaps you're not expecting them to come back around with this opportunity, that things are going to be so amazing. What I'm seeing is that with the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the uh, Wheel of Fortune, Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, and the Karmic Wheel here, you're probably not expecting this to be as amazing as it's going to be the next time around. With this Judgment card here and the Tower, I think it's going to be quite amazing here. I'm not seeing a, po I'm not seeing a negative Tower. I'm seeing a very, very, very positive Tower because I see too many positive energies here for this to be a negative Tower. You know, with the Strength card, the Hierophant, the, su the Star, I've got the Sun on their side, I've got the... Um, Six of Cups, I've got the Ten of Pentacles, I've got the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Pentacles. There's no way this is a negative energy, guys. So you have got something very, very, very beautiful coming in here. So Ten of Cups, Judgment and the Tower. So this is going to be something that you never, never expected to happen. This new, this Judgment call, if this is what you want, if you make this call, it looks like you're going to have everything you ever wanted here. And it's going to be very unexpected and probably happen very quickly. For energy on your side, guys, I really was not expecting that. Wow, you've got the serendipity card, guys. Serendipity, guys. It looks as though, you know, this is an opportunity. You know, this is really all about opportunity, okay? This is about an awareness of synchronicity. It's about luck and good fortune. You know, you guys have got luck and good fortune coming your way. It's about a magical alignment here coming into play for you. So I can see nothing but a magical awakening here. This is all about a magical alignment of events. That's what I'm seeing here. And I'm not surprised we got the, this um, um, card for you. Because, you know, we've just spoken about the magical, the magical alignment of events that is going to take place. This is your mutual energy. This is advice from spirit, from the after tarot. Look at that. Judgment, Ten of Cups, Tower. Something very, very, very beautiful. This, this is your person's intentions. Star, Hierophant, Strength. I can't see anything negative going on here, guys. That your person's energy. Six of Cups, the Sun. Can't make this stuff up guys serendipity is coming your way this is all about wish fulfillment this is about you guys having a very beautiful 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 connection if that's a, if that is what you want of course taurus if you don't it's completely up to you to choose that as well always up to um always up to free will all right guys thank you so much if you watched all the way to the end or if you watched most of this message i really appreciate you thank you so much sorry that the lighting's just gone out you've still got the message you can still hear me nice and clear i hope um please don't forget to like to share, to comment if it resonates, to um, subscribe if you aren't already, to hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks guys, bye.